So now the final of the men's 800 metres, T53. The Pan Am champion, Bren Lakatos, two goals and a silver here so far. Lee has won the 400, denying Lakatos the sprint clean sweep. Lakatos did win the 800 at the Pan Ams in Toronto. Mo Jomny as well, of Great Britain, bronze in the two. This could be a very tight race. And of course, there had to be someone from Thailand here also. Two medals for him so far. So let's introduce them lane by lane. <laughs> lane one for China. 400 meters champion this week. Silver in the two, two years ago, Li Hu Xiao. Man has been winning major medals since Sydney 2000. Silver in the 800 there, he was fourth in Lyon. Shun Hiramichi of Japan in lane three for France. Winner of the semi-final, European 200 champion. Silver in the one last year, Pierre Fairbank. Based at the University of Illinois, Champagne won his semi-final. No major championship medals yet from the United States, Brian Seymour. Lane five, silver in the 200, bronze in the 400 so far. Seventh in the 100 from Thailand, 18 years old, Bong Sukor and Payer. In lane six, second oldest in the field, has an autobiography out actually. 140.17 is lifetime best this year, Hitoshi Matsunoga. Lane seven, gold in the one and the two, silver in the four. Four golds two years ago in Lyon, but not in this. Brent Lakatos of Canada. And in lane eight for Great Britain, the European 400 meters champion. Bronze in the eight in the Euros last year. While here, bronze in the two, sixth in the 100 meters, it's Mo Jomny. Men's 800 meter T53 final, two laps of the track. It's Lee, Hiramichi, Fairbank, Seaman, Paeo, Matsunaga, Lakatos, and Jomny. Champion two years ago was Raymond Martin. So away we go, Lakados in seven, flying away from the start straight away. Matsunaga trying to do his best to keep up. That is a scintillating lead from the Canadian. Leading from the front, he won this at the Parapan Ams in Toronto back in August and did a very good job in doing so. Josh George with the world record in Arbor in Switzerland this June, but look at the lead straight away. He's up and up a massive advantage like it also and the rest really have no handling and really just jostling for second place right now. Yeah, Lakatos at 150 metres already had a 20 metre lead on this chasing pack. Can he hold on will be the question because he's gone out very hard. He's now increased that lead to about 30 metres as he's about to go through and take the bell. That's 49-47 that he's gone through the bell in. They are second, Seaman in third place, Lee for China in fourth. Still well out in front is Lakanos. Did he go too far, too early, too soon? Or has he judged this to absolute perfection? It's Rojomni for Great Britain from Telford. Trying to make a move on the outside. Lakanos is maintaining his lead of around 40 metres, but for how much longer? He's got half a lap to go. Has he done this to absolute perfection? It's all about survival and hanging on. It's obviously been a preordained tactic that he would go out and shoot out of the front, but a speeding up behind him. Lakados is 80 to go, and the rest are milling around him. Lakados is in the closing straight. There could be three ready to go with the but Lakados is going through for Canada. Lakados has got to win the gold from Gun to Tape. He wins it. Lee in second, and Fairbank in third. Seaman in fourth place in the United States, but that is as hard a way to win an 800 meters race as you can possibly get. Three gold medals in these World Championships for Brent Lakados of Canada. What a fantastic race, what a, a champion, and how brave to go out from the gun like that. He's going to be paying for it now, you can see him down on the back straight. He's really sucking in the big ones, head down on the frame of the wheelchair there. But what a lead, we're going, going through the bell with 40 metres to go, with 40 metres on the rest of the field, and he's just put the teeth together, and he's put in the hard work, and held on. 
Amazing stuff there from Brent Lakatos of Canada. Well, that was a time trial in the end. And the Canadian flags are out. And the Canadian tails are up. Just look at the way he shot away out. Back. Off and away. And the rest surely looking up and thinking, right, well, he's going to come in. He's not going to stay out. He'll slow down, he's trying to wear us out. None of that. Went out and stayed out. And that an extraordinary lead and an amazing win. And even then, he surely thought, there can't be enough left in the arms. There's three there. There's Seaman, there's Lee, there's Fairbuck. He's going to get gobbled up. There's a great chance he'll finish in fourth place. But it didn't happen. He kept it going. Really going through the pain barrier. A little bit of that easing on the line. What an astonishing win in this 800 metres. And the rest left behind. A fantastic victory. For Lakatos to get the win. Lee behind in. Second place just on the line ahead of Fairbank of France. That was immensely tight. So a third gold medal for Brent Lakados for Canada. Lee with a silver for China. And Pierre Fairbank, the bronze for France.